Good day everyone. Welcome back to the studio. I'm actually going to play with some resin today. I know it's been ages since I did any kind of resin art. I don't know why. It's just uh, And I just uh, wasn't motivated to do it. I don't know. Anyway, what I have here is just a cutout from this. This is... Um, it's a really, really thick, good quality wallpaper, and I remember I bought it. It was a, it was, it was just a, a big roll of it, but I've used it for different bits and pieces. I got my my grandson to to draw on it, paint on it, and you keep you know going and then cutting it off and stuff. So anyway, it's got a nice pattern. So I cut out this little, um, well, it's going to look like a bit of a crown, and then. Um, so while I'm working, I may as well, sorry, while I'm talking, I may as well uh, work, just clean a little bit the mess that I made just now. So what I've got here is, <clears throat> it's going to be a sculpture. Fingers crossed um, for my little uh, mechanical candle. So it's going to be like a candle holder and I won't use it just one drop of tint going in here. I just want it very, very transparent. So that is a tiny little, even that's too much, see? Bugger. But anyway, it might be all right. I just want to tint it a little bit with this gorgeous teal green and just a little bit of pinky purple tint. I'm going to try and put a tiny little bit on my stick here because I don't want it to be too too dark actually I'll just go down here that's one drop just got to play with it a little bit I might actually just use this stick and just go dirty the stick a little bit with it oh they are so pigmented look at that that's stained that is stained already just get bit by bit. I'm just doing it this way because I don't want it to be too too dark. So my stick kind of soaked it. See, that's really pretty. Oh, but I will use most of it, I think. So got sidetracked. And the reason why I'm doing this is <coughs> I have a bigger project in mind uh, that I want to do. I actually want to make a pot for my a pot sculpture out of this paper. Now, I know, a bit ambitious. <laughs> um, for my, my backyard. And I don't know how it's going to work. So that's why I'm, I'm playing with this. And uh, seeing if it's actually going to work or not. So here we go. Oh, yeah, see, that's nice. I might actually do a little bit up top here. Here's a, this is just tape. I'm just trying to keep it, the the ends kind of, oh, I should do that. Anyway, let's go like that. The leaves, maybe I can do them in green. This will move. You know, I'm just playing with it. Just to see what, what's going to happen. And if it leaks onto my plastic, that's all good. Not worried at all. So this is the Platinum Super Coat. I absolutely love this. I probably should have used a thicker one, which is the Art Coat. Um, it's, uh, it is, it's a really, really, really nice um, resin. And the thick one is... It's, it's perfect for doing things like this, but anyway, um, I didn't think it through. I thought, while I'm in the mood to do something, I may as well start. So, see what happens. I'm going to put a little bit more, maybe do some more here of this color, and then just add some more of this, make it a bit darker since it's working. For now, there we go, and I'm gonna leave it a little bit unmixed. I don't mind that at all because it does 
See that? It gives you some really nice, interesting effects there. That's gorgeous. I'm not going to be using any white at this stage, but you never know with me. I do change my mind. So I'll probably speed this process up so that, um, you know, it doesn't take forever. You can kind of see what, what I'm doing. Okay, while I'm thinking, because I've got a lot left here, I'm going to get my my mould here. Where are you? I might have to move you over there and put my mould down here. You can see that. That's great. And I just want to clean that just a little bit and then I'm just going to pour this resin straight in there and, and let it set and once my my skin here is ready to to be you know uh, manipulated into a shape I'll pop it in here and then I'll just mix up a small amount of resin and pour it in with the piece in it to uh, to just seal it in so it glues onto it just gonna... and let's pour this right in there unless I need some more over here but I don't think so let's go just gonna go around 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 This um, resin is great for coasters because you can happily put your coffee cup on there. It'll it'll handle um, over 80 degrees Celsius. So I'm not sure what that is in in uh, Fahrenheit, but you can figure it out. I'm sure. Give that a little bit of a swirl, and I will put a little bit of gold in there as well, just just for the fun of it. Okay, let's see. Okay, so here's my molten gold. I've just dipped it in there. Well, I gave it a good stir because you have to with some of the metallics. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and swirl it. And look at that! Doesn't that look amazing? Like, you, you won't be able to see the inside, but I just like to play, and I like to, wow, look at that. It's gone right down, and see there how it's mixing in with that uh, blue tint? Look at that. Oh, I'm going to have to create something like this now. Somebody will probably beat me to it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yeah, that is lovely. And because there's only... A smidgen in there um, of that gold and it's kind of it's, it's, it's yeah some of it is sitting on top <coughs> excuse me coughed in my elbow not that you can catch anything from me <laughs> but I'm just used to doing it wow look at that oh I just want to do this just want to play with this isn't that amazing when you oh my goodness Okay, I think this is going to be the next video. Look at that. That is amazeballs. Okay, 
So that is a bit deeper than here. So let's see if it works over here as well. Oop, I might need to push that down a little bit. Push that gold down a bit to the tip. And I do have some over here which I can use now. Ooh, look at that. It's loving it. Gold. This molten gold just loves resin. So I'm just going to make sure I use up all that off there. Totally went off track there. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, let's go with it. Let's go here. I've got to go this way. As long as it kind of sinks inside that resin, it'll be fine. It'll set in with the. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. Love that. It's looking pretty amazing. Now, it's good. now I want to get some nice cool things and pop in there like some really nice gems and I've got some little gold nuggets but I think the gold nuggets are probably going to be a little bit too much however I do like my gems all the colorful ones all different this is like a mix of different ones so I might just uh, we need to put them I reckon they'll look nice even up here just go around and drop them wherever. All a bit flattish. I'll re rearrange them afterwards. And they'll stick to, to the, the resin that kind of poured out of my, my picture here. That's a bit big, but it doesn't matter. Let it sit there. Oh, I think you're just a bit too big. Sorry. That should come. Let's just get it right. Not putting too many on the edge because that'll fold in. You've got to think about all these things. Right. So that's nice. You can still sort of see underneath them the transparent ones. That there is a design of a, like a crown there. Kind of, sort of. That is pretty cool. And I do have some of these beautiful diamantes which uh, my friend Laura gave me when she was here and they uh, just stick, they'll stick on the back but I'll wait for, for this to set a little bit before I go around and do that. What I might do as well is let's get some glitter Let's get some glitter Let's get some glitter How about we get some uh, dark catcher? Get some sun catcher and pop it in there. Watch this. Just keeping it away from my face. And I'm going to get my little spoon. These spoons are great. I do have them in the shop. I don't have a lot left. Just one of those things that I get sometimes. And just keep your face away from this. You don't have to put them on like this. You can actually mix it in with the resin. But sometimes I just like to get things done nice and quick. It's not always the best way. But this is really pretty. You see the transformation straight away? I love the sun catcher. It's one of the, well, it's, it's my favorite Glitz and Glam pigment. And I do have plenty of them in the shop. If you're interested and it 
goes a long way. You don't need a lot. I'm actually using too much here. This could be done a different way and use much, much less. I will dab my finger in there in a, in a second to kind of spread it around a little bit. So now all those gems are covered in this nice gold, golden sprinkles. That's nice. So be careful because this stuff does fly everywhere. So I can go around with my finger. Oh, what are you doing there? And kind of give it a dab. Spread it around a bit. Oh, gorgeous. Am I still on? Just checking, making sure that you can see what I'm doing here. Right, so that's it. I'll be back um, in a few hours when hopefully it'll be ready to, you know, shape a little bit into something. Okay guys, we're back. I, I snuck in here last night and just pulled this skin uh, off, off my plastic, see? Uh, and it was still pretty wonky, but I had to do it because it was already late and because it's so cold here now, um, it's not that cold, but it's too cold for resin. It, it took forever to set, but it's set now. So I just plonked it over the top. Oh, that come off real easy. Oh, how that's so cool. And have a little drum. Um, so it's sort of... Oh, yeah, see that? That's not stuck there. Okay, so I'm going to have to pour in some resin. I have to anyway, because see that paper there? This here is good. It leaked underneath it. That bit there is so sharp. So, um, it's quite pretty though, isn't it? It's not perfectly round, but that's okay. We don't worry about these things. So what I will do is, I will... Oh, that's really cool. The molten gold. Anyway, um, I'm just going to paint. I'm going to pour a little bit of resin in here. Pop it back in the mold, because it fits perfectly in there. Um, that's cool I might even be able to pull this in a little bit if I heat it up we'll see but at the moment I'm happy let me mix some resin and I'll be back okay so this is the art coat resin by platinum and it's really cool because it's so thick look how thick that is part A is thicker than part B but that's really thick look at that and that's what I want because I want to paint it on and hopefully it'll some of it will stay on there. Might have to sit with it for a bit. But I, I really like this resin um, for a few reasons. One, it's totally food grade. So you can use it for coasters, things like that. Um, you measure it by weight. It's one to one ratio, so really easy to... To, to put together and uh, now just to stir because it's so thick and it's fairly cool in the studio I've got my my air conditioner on so it, uh, it lifts the temperature up a little bit um, so I'm just going to be stirring this until it's all combined it's only a small amount so it shouldn't take too long to get it all combined properly. Okay, so here we go. Just making sure that you're centered in there. Um, gonna start. Oh, look how nice and thick that is. I'm just gonna start drizzling on on the sides here, just with my spoon. I let it fall down with the back of the spoon. Just, just gonna, uh, kind of gonna, kind of gonna. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think it's too early in the morning. Um, I'm just kind of going to spread it like this. Now that will pull down naturally. And I'll keep bringing it up. But um, see there's a gap there where I join them together. So I want to make sure I've got some 
in that gap and if I need to mix some more then that's what I'll do and then I was thinking that I might just drizzle some tints or even sprinkle some powders in there and they will naturally just stick to the resin and set the um, powder pigments are great for that so there you go just inside if I get a little bit extra ambitious later when it starts setting I might try and make some droplets but um, don't really need to so I'm just making sure I put my head in there so I can see if I've missed any spots and yes I have so anyway that's that's all that I have there and I might spread it in the bottom as well you don't need a lot for this the edges are important we want them to to stick now I haven't done this oh, actually yeah I've, I've done something similar to this but not with material um, yeah just every time it's it's a different sort of technique that I'm using and uh, it's just whatever the the idea is on the day really <laughs> okay so that's all my resin and I'm tempted to mix a little bit more but I don't really need to because that is nicely covering the bottom and the sides now of course if I made this just with the resin skin I wouldn't have to paint the sides it's only because I still had that paper there and even if that all sinks down it's still it's still covering the paper oh it's so nice and thick right so that'll do that'll do for now let's get some pigment and just start dropping some pigments inside there um, <clears throat> might go with that really nice blue just the colors that I already have there now let's see what happens if I just drizzle it from the from up here let's see what happens might be tragic might work might not don't know but I think this might be a bit too strong this pigment come on get down get out of it oh and that went straight down to the bottom let's see I can just do that can you see in there what I'm doing let me just try and tilt it so you can see so that pigment is so so strong strongly pigmented that it's just sticking see that down there that's that blue actually it did work <coughs> and that's too a bit messy but oh well you know just do what you do what you do let's go with this lovely color as well so I've gone down just one drop and then I'm going to use the same spoon and just kind of smudge it yeah, I'm not sure if you can see that I have to keep it in a mold because I think it, it might um, oh wow that's gorgeous and then that um, magenta oh and that gorgeous teal blue just kind of mixing in some spots so that's really nice might pop some up here okay so I sped up this uh, bit here and I've cut out some of the video too because I just tend to keep fiddling and going on and on and on so I'm just adding some uh, satin gold in there powder pigment and it's quite gorgeous just swirling it around a little bit and then I'm just going to use my uh, my stick at first and then just my fingers and dipping them into 
um, the powder directly and then just uh, playing and um, kind of dabbing all around the rim of that uh, the bowl um, so yeah it just really <clears throat> really lifts it and gives it a, a really special kind of effect oh he looks so cute so cute and I think it will work for my pot um, wow that's going to be a big job so anyway um, I'll be back with some photos alrighty let's have a look at this thing so I've popped uh, just that round kind of uh, mold in in here with some plastic so it doesn't stick because it was quite quite sticky and yeah yesterday I tried to pull it out it looked set and then I put some pens in here and they all stuck to the bottom oh so that was not good but uh, yeah I managed to heat it again and um, tape it I need to get rid of this tape now I thought I'll just tape it to try and fix the shape a little bit the tape is kind of leaving a bit of a sticky residue I'll just clean that with alcohol so that'll be fine but look how nice and shiny that is I'm going to go and uh, pop a candle in there and then hopefully it's cute isn't it very cute definitely functional it's definitely hard which is good Okay, let's go grab a candle. I actually put a real candle in there just because I had one here. And let's have a look. Oh, I need to turn the light off. Oh, that's cute. And you can still see through those gaps. <laughs> ah, that is so cute. So that's what it would look like at night. And the inside's looking great as well. Well, there you go. Wallpaper, eh?